Hi, I'm Arne Gunderson. At Fairwinds, we get numerous questions about Fukushima and nuclear power in general. Someone on our team reads every one of them. This is the first in a series of short videos designed to answer those questions that come in from you, our supporters. I've been getting a bunch of emails about recently released NRC FOIA documents, Freedom of Information Act documents, about the condition of Fukushima Daiichi right after the accident back in 2011. It's clear from those FOIA documents that the NRC believed that a massive problem was occurring not just in the Unit 4 fuel pool, but likely in all of the other fuel pools as well. I think there's two points to be made. After the site began to be more under control, it appears that those were exaggerations by the NRC. And really, the fuel pools were not as bad as the initial documents led them to believe. So that's the good news. But the bad news is, let's look at how authorities responded. In the middle of March, they really believed that they had fuel pools that were in a catastrophic condition. And yet, what did authorities do? They did not evacuate. So I think the message here from these NRC FOIAs is, thank God it wasn't as bad as they imagined, but given what they knew in early March, why the heck did the NRC and the regulators in Japan issue a much wider evacuation? I think it's because they didn't want to frighten the public, but yet they put the public at risk. It was easier to put the public at risk than it was to issue an evacuation and move more people out. Thanks for listening. I'm Arnie Gunderson, and I'll keep you informed.